Hello everybody and welcome back to Circuits. My name is Emer. I am the Arts and North Down Movement Coordinator and I'm going to take you through a circuit session today. Please only take part in the session if you're feeling fit and well to do so. There's a little description box below the video. Have a quick read of that before you begin. Okay, make sure you have some water on hand. You don't need any equipment other than a good chair and purse to stand exercises if you've done the videos before. Um, and I've grabbed a couple of tins of beans. Okay, if you have other weights you can use. If you want to use something lighter in the house, you can. If you want to use ha heavier household items, you can also do that as well. Um, we're going to do 10 exercises today. We're going to do two rounds of the circuit. I'm going to give you a quick run through of all the exercises now. We'll do a warm up and then we'll get stuck in to the actual circuit. So first exercise we're going to do today is our skiing. So feet back, arms forward. Okay, we'll do this one in the warm up. We've done it before. Second exercise is our tricep press. So you'll need a wall or a door. Again, make sure if you're using the door, you're going to come through it. Elbows close to the body, hands at chest height or hands close in. Okay, the further your feet are back, the harder it will be. Nose to the wall, out and in. Okay, third exercise is going to be our squats. So feet are going to be just wide at the shoulder distance, toes pointing slightly out, knees are going to be pushed out. And we're bring our hands in because we want to keep our chest up. So bringing your hands in, we'll try to keep that chest up. You can also use the back of the chair as a guide, just touching the top of the back of the chair as you come down and extend up. Chest flies the next one. So if you do have weights and want to use weights, you can use them for this one. Up against the wall, arms are at shoulder height, coming in and opening up the chest. Again, you can do that one sitting. There's all the exercises you can do in a chair if you wish. Next one is our step ups. So if you have a step, folks, or if you are doing it, you know, your stairs, you can use that or your back door step. If you're using, watching the video on a phone and, or an iPad that you can move about with you. If not, I'm just using the chair, I'm using the bottom run. Okay, the chair, so it's a tap, or a step up, tap onto the top of the, the, the top of the chair. So you can choose your level on that one. Next exercise is our wall press. So a bit like the tricep press, we're up against the wall again. This time hands are going to be wider than shoulder distance. Okay, but shoulder height, don't have them up too high. And out and in, nose to wall. So that's the wall press. Next one is our side lunge. So both Toes pointing forward, up nice and straight, extending out into a lunge, making sure that knee's not going too far over the toe, and then the body back out. I'm going to do three on each side, and then swap it over to the opposite leg. Then we have sit to stand, sit now standing up. Again, you can use your hands if you need to, ideally don't use your hands. You can put your hands above the head, or you can use a weight by holding your tins of beans or something heavier um, in two hands. To make that one a little bit more challenging. Next exercise is our calf raise walk. So we're stepping forward, up onto the tiptoes, up onto the tiptoes, up onto the tiptoes. Okay, if that's too much for you, you can do a static calf raise. Okay, two feet or one. And then the last one we have an arm lift and our leg lift. So we're flicking the legs up at the back and arms up above the head. So it's an arm lift and a leg lift. Okay, so it's a nice way of one to finish off with. So we'll do one minute on each exercise. We'll have a two minute water break in the middle and then we'll do the circuit again. Remember, you can always pause the video, um, take a breather, take a sit down, grab some water and catch the video back up again when you're ready. So let's get warmed up. Before we get the warm up folks, if you want to put on some music, that's fine. Um, I'm going to start off by a nice gentle march on the spot as we normally do, okay? And again, just start off with a march, get the arms going, the feet going. But build this into a jog on the spot if you wish. Okay, it's so nice and easy. Same. Just nice rhythm. Okay, and then slow it down. We're going to tap the opposite hand, the opposite knee. Okay, try to get that knee up as high as you can. The balance is good, folks. Keep it nice and low to get around. Make sure it's the side of the wall so we can get the fingertips too. Good. Do two more, and we're flicking the heels up at the back. Trying to flick the heels up, hands the hips, bend up the knees, trying to get them up as high again as we can. It's too much for you, being close to the floor. Brilliant, well done. Good, and we're going to do two more. We're going to relax the feet, okay? Drop with our ball there, we're pushing them all out. In, up and down. Out in, up and down, nice and slow and steady. Stretching through the shoulders, pushing all the way out, push all the way up, all the way out, all the way up. Good. One more. 
wiggle the head. Now we're back into the march. So shake the arms. A little bit quicker this time if we can. Or lift the knees a little bit higher. Good. Get the raise engaged now and arms and legs together. Feet legs, bicep curls. Good. Well done. That's it. Two arms, opposite legs. Try not to think about it. We're going to do a couple more and we're going to go into our skis. So it's time for you to want to go back to this. Bring it in, arms out. Tapping out with the feet, arms coming to the front. We see them arms, same leg, opposite sides, or both arms. Good, just keep the body moving, getting the heart rate up. Well done, pretty finished. Just do a couple more and relax the feet, okay? Up with that ball again. I did up down, this time I'm going a wee bit faster. Only if you can, stick to your speed if it's too much. Side in, up down. Side in, up down. Good. Two more full ones, all the way out, and up, all the way out, and up, and relax the shoulder. Shake them out. Okay, down our stretches then. Step into the side, leaning our weight out. Backs up nice and straight, train track feet. Back up into the center, okay? Just change it over. Opposite leg was out, leaning out the opposite side. Keep the eye on that knee and the toe. Okay, try not to go beyond the bottom. From back in. Good. Take a step forward then, or right. Back in, stay on the ground, push it forward through that front knee, hands and the hips. Just shake it out. Okay, folks, that's just warmed up. We're going to get stuck into the circuit now. Remember, take as many breaks and breathers as you need. Stop the video if you need to, and make sure you have some water on hand. Let's get started. So, we've got one minute on the clock. We're starting off with our skiing. Ready to go in three, two, one. Away we go. So, feet out the back, arms out the front, just like we did in the warm up. Okay, singles. You can go as fast and slow as you like. You can go double arms. Get a nice bend in that knee, not straighten out the legs too much. Tap on out, opposite hand, opposite knee, and same. Be same side, same arm, same leg. Arm can be opposites. Okay, just don't try not to think about it too much. Or your feet end up going forward, and arms end up going back the way. But whatever works for you. Keep that nice steady speed. Remember, we're going to start with twice. So about 20 seconds left in this exercise. Going straight in the tricep press after this one. So up against the wall. Alright, you do the work. That's it. Fast as slow as you like. Keep that breathing nice and natural. We're finishing in three, two, one, and we're into our tricep press. Chest height, hands, feet. The closer your feet are to the, the wall, the easier it'll be. The further back you are, the harder it will be. Feet can be shoulder distance, heels on the floor, nose to wall. Right then, working the backs of the arms. Good, keep it going. We're halfway. Keep the core engaged, back nice and straight, and try not to swing in with the hips. Or push the bone out, try to keep the back of a nice straight line. Well done. Five seconds left. We're going to the squats next. 
Are we ready? Two, one, and we're squatting. Feet out, knees out, chest up, hands down. Okay, so if you do the Pilates videos, you'll know the tree hooks. Same principle. Hands are just trying to keep that chest up. Push the bum out the back. Push the knees out to the side. Don't look down at the floor because that will tend to dip you forward. So try to keep them shoulders back. Imagine you've got like a, a brush along your back or if you're holding a barbell or weights in the gym. Push the bum back. Back's nice and straight. Good. Push the knees out as we come down. Bum sinking into that hole. Just go to wherever you've been comfortable. Whenever you do this in the sit to stand, I mean sit to stand, you get that rest at the bottom before you accelerate up. So this time you just push yourself back up. So just go to wherever you've been comfortable. We're going into our chest flies next. And we're nearly finished. Three, two, one. Grab your weights if you're using them. Up against the wall. And just be up against the wall, folks. Just make sure we're not swinging and swaying the back. Okay, so you can do it freestanding. I was here, but we do have a tendency to swing and sway. Puts a bit of pressure on the back, so a wall just gives you that wee bit of stability. Keep the breathing nice and natural. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the arms as straight as you can. Yeah, some people will try to bend the arms. You're not going to get the same range of movement. So nice straight arms, if you can. Hold them up. Our next exercise is going to be our step ups. So because we're going straight into it, we're always thinking about the next one. Make sure we've got a good grip on those. Don't want to drop them. We're finishing in five seconds, folks. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. Well done. We're in our step ups. So again, we will start off stepping up low run. If you've got a step and our six step in the house. Stop them down as quick as you can, or if you're going a little bit higher, just tapping on the chair, back of the chair, even all those tight finger shifts on it, to help with the balance. Control that breath, keep the breathing going. There's no real recovery, folks, until after we complete the circuit, you need your two minute water break. So if you do need to just pause the video or just step out for a minute of one of the exercises and we'll catch up on the next one. After this we're going to wall press for 10 seconds left. Good job, we're finishing in 3, 2, 1. Wall press up against the wall, arms out nice and wide by the shoulder distance but at shoulder height. Feet at the right distance away from the wall, and we're out and in. Okay, don't have your hands above your head. You want to be stretching up. Out and in. Control the breathing. Engage the core. Most people find this one a wee bit easier than the tricep one. But again, if you've had surgery, for anything in the chest area, chest wall, if you're a bit weaker, just take your time to breathe if you need to. Good work. Last 10 seconds. Going into side lunges next. Three, two, one. Side lunges, so toes point forward, like the side. Down, pushing in. Out and in. As I try to do that back up, I'm going to do four on each side. Three or four, it doesn't really matter, folks, whatever you want to count. Instead of the other side, just depends on your space. Just best stand in the same spot. A little bigger room. Just making sure that knee's not going too far over the toes. So I'm going to four on each leg and just change it. Seconds left, out and in, exploding off and pushing up. Five seconds left. 
two, one. Well done, we're in there, sit the stand. Sit and down, standing up. Control your breathing, folks. That's two leg exercises, back to back, your side lunges, and then the, you sit the stand. We're pushing up, down through the heels. Control at the sit, as well, back down on the chair. Side of wall, try to let me grab hold of. Just walk it back a ways. Or you can turn around and do the calf raise walk back. Good. And if you don't have a space, double calf raise on its own, it's fine. Just trying to get the heat up off the floor. Create a bit of space between your heel and the floor. Good work. Ready, finish. 10 seconds left. Going into one more exercise. After this, arm lift, leg lift. Finishing in three, two, one. And we're straight in. Arm lift, leg lift. Okay, so trying to get that leg kicking up as close to your bum as you can. Arms up above the head. If it's too much for folks, just bring the feet down. Smaller little steps. You can slow it right down. Or you can pick it up. Whatever you prefer. You pick your speed. Last exercise. Then you get two minutes. Water break. And we're going to do it all again. Halfway. Take a breather if you need to. Nice and soft. Up and down. Right up, folks. Finishing. In three, two, one, and stop. Well done. First circuit done. Great work. Grab some water, have two minutes of bread, and we'll do the circuit all over again. Yes, Balance. Just try not to think about it. Yes, you can get that arm up nice and high. 
are shallow and low feminine range movement as a good shoulder shape. For an end. For halfway. 30 seconds left. Heart rate up with the aerobic ones. And then the other strength, muscular strength. And then the next one, which we're going to do is our tricep press. Up against the wall. Close hands at chest height. 10 seconds left. Go to the tricep press in three, two, one. Up we go. Hands go together. Close the wall. Back height. The closer our feet are, the easier it is. The further our feet are away, the harder it is. Back's nice and straight. Core's engaged. Have a control on our breath. Keep the elbows tucked into the bar. Tighten in. Halfway.
gut einen schönen Mann. Gehen wir zur Second Circle Pump. Take many breaths as you need. 30 seconds left for this one. Go on, take a breath. Stay steady. Try step focused. Don't overthink it. Try and hold it a little bit longer each time if you can. Makes it a little bit harder for you. Finishing in four, three, two, one. Last exercise. Arm lift, leg lift. Flicking the heels up at the back. Arm up above the head. Well done. Up and down. Control your breathing, keep the core engaged, back nice and straight, knees are soft. Lots to think about on this one. Like I said before, you don't have to come the whole way up, but you can just flip to here. Take the arms completely out of it. You choose your speed, you choose your level. Good work. We're nearly there. 20 seconds left. Go on, folks. Last big push, last 10 seconds. Get those heels up. Position in three, two, one, and stop. Well done, folks. That's the circuit finished. Brilliant work, two circuits complete. And now we're going to do a cool down and a stretch. Before we get our stretches, we'll make sure you get a good drink of water, okay? And then just start just by gently moving the shoulders back and just bringing the breath. 
going nice and slow and straight in through the nose. And out through the mouth. So you roll the shoulders back nice and slow, right up the ear and down. Yes. Pull the shoulders back. And through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Okay, shake out the shoulders for me. Okay, coming down to the legs, stepping forward. Just lean your weight out to one side. Both toes are pointing forward, backs up nice and straight. Eyes are forward, good. Just hold it a little bit longer. Now we did it in warm up. And stepping back in. Okay, just change sides, camera. Lean your weight out. Okay, step it forward this time. Both feet, both heels are on the floor, pushing through the front knee, pushing hips through, driving that back heel into the floor. Well done. Stretch out those calves, kind of the Achilles and the ankles. And just change it over. And step it forward, pushing through. Back leg nice and straight, front knees bending. And back in, okay? Just cross the chest with your arm and just hold it up underneath. Nice straight arm. Bring it in a little bit closer to the body, a little bit tighter. Stay active.